What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Four Dummies. And tonight I am joined with the other three dummies. I have Mrs. Skullface. I thought I was Toe Jangles. Oh, I'm sorry. Miss Toe Jangles. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Mr. Just One. Yo, what's happening? Mr. Robert Detoff. Yo, what's happening? And tonight we are going to be <laughs> critiquing uh, other people's collections. I put this out on the Facebook and I asked for people to make submissions. And I have to tip my hat to people because I didn't think folks would have <laughs> the balls that they did to send some of the stuff that they sent. I, you deserve credit for your bravery alone. Let me say this because I have no skin in this game by any means, but this may be the one you want to subscribe to the Patreon for. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I get no dollars from that. I just want to put that out. <laughs> That's probably true. And our oh. first... Um, Dude, your photos are like just chum in the water with a bunch of... <laughs> Jerks. <laughs> um, our first contender is JS. Here's the thing. This is the classic Detolf situation. Oh. But that's it's Detolf 2.0, because Detolf 1.0 would have been on the ground. 2.0 is now on a Calyx. That's true. Right? That's true. And at least he had the sense to block out the backs because they're all in front of windows, so they're not just like blocking out every figure like the sun's just not beating on every figure i understand putting the purple backgrounds in just tried this as well it, it doesn't work i whoa, don't whoa, whoa, I hold do, on a minute i'm gonna tell you i don't <laughs> think it makes it look any better i think it makes it look actually like arguably worse because it looks like you're trying to tidy it up so I disagree. Yeah. I mean, I think it does help clean it, especially like, so the background would have been blinds and a window so, so versus that, that, a but, wall. But that's, like, but that's where I was getting ready to go next. But I understand you doing it here because you had that window. Can I just say this, right? Okay. His Decepticon wall alone. How much money is that wall ballpark? Today's value. You know, dude, just I mean, the two lupus alone or a G. Okay. Buy the some lupus. curtains, dude. Like yeah, if you're going to go all out with your display, get some nice curtains. So and spend I, eighty dollars on some curtains, some blackout curtains. This man is a serious collector. This guy is getting every version of every fan's toys. He's got every 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 mode. No he's seriously in. This guy is not afraid to spend the money, you know. But he's losing a forest for the trees. If I was not like a collector and and I just walked into this room, I'd be like, "Whoa, you have such a cool collection, right?" Because the collection's cool. But looking at it from a display perspective, the effort's there. But I think the effort is unfortunately misplaced mm -hmm. because I agree with Bobby. Those backgrounds. They, I know you tried, dude, but they look cheap. Yeah, you know, and they don't. They don't work. They are distracting well, because you know what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the purple backgrounds, yes, not and not the at the figures. figures. Right. Yes, and that's why. Listen, and that's why you have I'm to either go all, your black or all white blinds. No, because even because black and white will shot. But it at least makes the color pop. I agree. Way of the I agree with that. But he has two black ones. If you look, both of those, I, I still think it looks a bit distracting. Not as distracting as the purple. I no, agree with you there. Definitely far less distracting. I agree, but I still it's still off-putting to me look no, at the cool. look at the vertical space of all of the decepticons like there's not one shelf that's filled by transformers even though the horizontal space is oftentimes crowded well, that's a different discussion right that's where we what that's where we figured out early on like details aren't the best for displaying transformers correct i don't hate the backgrounds i i mean but i do, i do think probably black would look better i don't think white would look better but i don't understand why the details are kind of spaced based about an inch apart well, i'll tell right. you, so uh, tell you i was why. gonna say that as well i'll so, tell you hold why. on don't don't interrupt okay but i'll tell you why why <laughs> because you see he's got this middle one the the one that holds one that has to hold one and then the, the ones next to it can only hold two but not together so you push them closer together and you leave more space on the calyx on the right and the left you do need to push them closer together i mean and on the purple, again the light on the purple ones there's no reason he can't push them all together no yes that's true but and then on the red ones true. then you push those three together and then you push the other three. Yeah, oh, I see just, what you're saying. There's just one. Correct. Well, just and move, it's not even a, yeah. Just move the one ones to the Yeah, that one's gotta something. go. And my other recommendation would be, so we have started playing a lot with risers, just like clear yes. plastic risers. They just help kind of give the shelf dimension and um, I think maybe a couple of those risers on Amazon would go like a really long way in in filling that vertical space and I making agree. it a little bit more dynamic. The problem with the Detolfs too in this regard is that they're all it's too much glass yeah it's too much glass and that's what i was getting ready to say yeah. next is that is that remember <laughs> variety is the spice of life like just a room full of the same exact thing the more you have the less they're worth and that's only because everything looks identical 
So if you take the black shelf in particular that has Shockwave on it and Marlboro and Shattered Glass Primer, Nemesis Primer, whatever, a couple risers in there to bring those figures up behind Marlboro, and it's going to do a, a yeah. huge service. And then also, if you look on the Autobot shelf, you can tell he's got room at the top of the Detolfs. Put some of those Altmos up there. You don't need all that shit in one cube. I'm going to tell you too also regardless of what these dudes say you need lights too. The lighting makes yeah. up everything. <laughs> you do. You do. <laughs> Alright let's move on to the next one. So this is from Wes H and he's rocking the just getting started. I'm going to have you know. All right. This guy's just getting dusty. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Look, like, I'm, I'm, look at the display and the dimension and the way he staggered them and the the different levels. Like, I mean, I feel like I feel like he did a good job with what he was working with. Look, I'm going to tell you, like, the, like honestly, mm-hmm. like, bro, you're not there yet. Like, you're not uh. even like you're, like you're not in the conversation yet. <laughs> you, if we were a bunch of women, that would we would have just hit you with the Oh, that's cute. I mean, you're not there maybe in regard to your shelves and your lighting and whatever, but I think you have the idea of of setting them up. Yeah, because like I mean, this is a know? shelf of just Soundwave and tapes. And it's Soundwave throughout the years, different incarnations. You know, he's got the, the prime Soundwave. Like, this is a Soundwave and tapes shelf. And I dig that conceptually. Yeah. It's just presentation-wise, you're not, you're not, you're not close. You're not close to Well, it. and I gotta see, the con- is this the only thing that you got in your collection? What's the context of the rest of your collection? I can see your face. Fingerprints, man. I can ID you. I can run your family tree you right have now. To dust that's your stuff, dude. That's insane dust. I mean, I don't dust like a lot of these people do, but this is even a crowded shelf, and my hat's off to, to you for that. Yeah, I you feel like it's a fucked up flash like picture. I don't think that's dust. Look at Stoneblast's your shoulder. You could tell he like just positioned him for the photo. That's why he got a fresh fingerprint there. Like the dust came off where he grabbed him by the shoulder to move him. You can't let your figures get that dusty because it ruins your toy over time. So understand. our next one, I gotta tell you, is 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 in the same rough kind of pocket. <laughs> So this is from Andreas K. Like, you remember when John Kent said to Clark, you got to decide what kind of man you want to grow to be, Clark? You got to decide what kind of shelf you want to to be. I'm going to be honest with you. He learned this from from watching Robert. (laughs) (laughs) That's a Robert detail show. Robert said in his own photos under someone else's name. Like, my man's man's got figures standing on top of boxes, figures standing next to books, figures, like, crunched up against statues. Like, some figures are facing the front, some are facing the side, some are, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, you got a figure in box. This is my thing about if I could just say that. Like, I I don't know, man, you you got a ton of money wrapped up in these figures like why are you just gonna shove them in a shelf like you just got i don't know treat it with a little bit more respect i guess is where i would be coming from yeah what's that book worth I mean, what's in the bottom right hand corner of this photo is that his knee what is that what is that dirty orb which one what which photo <laughs> the, first, the first one the first one <laughs> i need to understand the what's bottom, going oh. on maybe uh, like what the back is of a chair that's a piece something? of that's a piece of cardboard he cooked a tombstone on from 1986. Well, it's, a sk- it's either it's a skateboard. I bet you it's the top of a skateboard. Dude, I would have paid this dude money for those doors to go on the, because they stopped <laughs> making them out of like the best. Of- you got a good thing going with those doors. You got a bad thing going with what's behind them. Go to the top right photo with Prime and Soundwave. Dude, look at the, uh, I, I can't think of the character's name. For sure. The Onslaught. He's looking to the side like, hey, what's happening? <laughs> The, oh, the yeah. very first one looking at Onslaught, just to the side. <laughs> Onslaught sees something. Bu- oh, because Skywarp's sneaking up on Soundwave. You see? <laughs> I don't know, Skywarp. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Wow. Was there Astro Train back there, too? Oh, no, see, he sees Skywarp. He's trying, to, he's trying to be like, hey, man, that's not cool, dude. We're all on the same team. Hey, relax. Is that a stack of collector cards there? What's there? What's I think there? they're business cards. If you go down to this other shelf here where the... That crimson, because that crimson or a butterscotch. Yeah, you just like like you've got you've got great figures. Like your your figure choices are fantastic. Like even that Boba Fett statue looks cool. But like what you've done with them is like it's like it's like it's like you were more focused on acquiring them than putting them somewhere. Robert, did you say that's a paw print in front of that Grimlock and that Boba Fett there? No, no, I said it was sinful. I said that dude's cat was up there. He's like, get down. I almost feel like he did this on purpose. And I'll also say that Shockwave glasses. Shockwave. 
sitting on the box is, looks wild. Okay, yeah, wait. that is pretty wild. Because <laughs> that because here's the thing about it: nothing is thought out except for that. You're like, I'll oh, throw it all in. You know what? Hold on a minute. We, let's just put this guy right here. <laughs> he took Megatron's uh, cannon off his arm just to fit Megatron in it. <laughs> You're right. But where is the cannon? That's maybe it's an eye spy. Maybe it's like, look, maybe it's like one of those. You know, when you hey, did you scroll just on say Facebook maybe it's an eye oh, spy? And look, yeah, at, maybe. A, and look at <laughs> Blastoff. Look at Blastoff. No, I know. I saw. That. He's just laying on top and the brawl, of the That's a like, vortex behind him. Dude, I just saw the ramjet face between sound. <laughs> dude, look at look at me, look at between Megatron's legs. Is that a <laughs> look at the head in the back? R- literally right behind Shockwave's head. Look straight up. Uh-uh, dude, just do, you gotta oh, zoom in. You gotta zoom in. So it's in the one picture, <laughs> but it's not in the other. That's Astrotrain. That's Astrotrain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because look at even Ramjet in a different spot. <laughs> 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 and breakdown. That's breakdown uh, next to him. Just zoom into that and cut to the next one. Box of glasses with the aerial bots. What is wrong? Something's wrong. We have to intervene on your behalf, my friend. So you ready for ready to move on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All Let's right. Go. So this oh, is okay. Alex P. Keaton? And I have one thing to say kind of straight away. Get your dad right now to come down here and explain why he put together this computer desk for you to put figures on. <laughs> <laughs> also, what do you what backdrop? Maybe when you take the photo, he's got all that bright green in the back. Maybe he's CGing a real background in there. Oh my God, that's brilliant. <laughs> Maybe that's, that's the a, player. I, yeah. I but can, it's meticulous. Like it's obviously cared yeah. for. It's obviously purposely placed. You know what I mean? Like nothing's falling over. Oh God, it's help them if it did. No, I. <laughs> I feel like they're all loved. I like the alt modes, and because it reminds me, it, it's like uh, it has a nostalgia feel to me of like Matchbox storage cars. Like when you would, like they would, you know what I mean? When they would send you like a little case, you could buy a little case to put your Matchbox cars in. It would look like this, right? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there's something cool to me about that. That's all I got here. I do agree with Laura. Like, so it looks cared for. Mm-hmm. It's like it is jammed in there, but it does look cared for. I mean, look, he's got the auto. He's got all the. Autobots under, like they're all like sheltered under the shelves. He's got Bumblebee as far in as he could so it doesn't get rained on. <laughs> no, this is good. This is what's interesting. I'd like to know what this dude's age because it just feels like a, a younger person's collection yes this guy dates his stuff back to animated though so he ain't that young and the height like the height distribution is is well done like i mean that's fair like he doesn't have obviously the optimal shelving but like i think he's taken time and he has displayed yeah. them nicely and see this um, is actually a type of display type that um, we didn't really talk about before. It is the, um, what do you call it? Where you put the tall ones in the middle and then you slowly slope away and then it's like it becomes a pyramid. The pharaoh. The pharaoh. <laughs> now, he, I, now here we, this is a classic example of Fair height distribution, but yeah. poor width distribution. You can, They're cramped. Yeah, you, you can tell he wants all their faces to be seen. I would recommend this guy get some floating shelves because it doesn't look like he's getting triples of, uh, you know, Thomas and stuff. And, you know, it looks like he's I don't see lots of tons of new things in there. So he's not like this, you know, hoarder who has to have every figure out there. Get some floating shelves and then you can disperse these. Give them some elbow room. Yeah. So you, you can really enjoy I your figure over shooting it though but i think this is a dude just working with what he's got he doesn't have anything super like high end which isn't a, a diss by any means you know what i mean he's just working it's with this. what he's got this is what he likes i respect this dude just for the amount of love that yeah went into I, it. I i really I feel like i it. really appreciate I do. the effort okay he could maybe take a third of these figures away and display them on floating shelves with elbow room and make so them floating his shelves pieces. floating shelves get really tricky to not mm-hmm. look junky so my problem with it is that there's so much going on I can't really see anything right it I mean, ends up can, looking like one mass it, yeah right it's oh, hard no, to see no, no, any no, no. one okay. individual character or a toy when you have this many toys but I do feel like they've been placed with care and for sure intent dude, this, and he's using think, risers like yeah, this the dude like, is working think, with what he's got exactly I do agree with you Robert that less is more here yeah it's too much it's too yeah, much it's too much all right so uh let's move on to the next one and this is from Chuck O. I've seen it many times, I believe, in the... I don't hate mm-hmm. this. Zooms. I don't hate this. I don't love it. I love certain shelves, and I love certain approaches. This is all strip lighting. Correct. So Robert is going to agree with me that you need to put that Omega in the D's hell. <laughs> right off the bat. 
but here's why it's interesting, right? Because he has some of the shelves. So you have the combiners that are that are breaking up that weird yep. space. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. And he's got it lit up. Mm-hmm. I don't think this is bad. I don't think, I think this is bad I, either. My favorite one is the Cobra Commander helmet with the little three and three quarter next to it. I'm like, perfect. Um, but you know what? The worst thing about it, though, honestly, are the figures on top of the details, just because they just feel out of place. And are these like three place. and three quarter? Like, yeah, there they are. Dude, he's got so a whole like Star Wars split, collection, too. Like if you look. Can I just say one thing? Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, you know, these for some reason they don't look as offensive as the ones with the just straight purple and orange. But look at the Decepticons and Autobots. It was red. Red, and then go to the one that has the Joes on it, right? Mm-hmm. And then e- even the one that has the Darth Vader and the Boba Fett and the Stormtrooper. What's different? Because I think those displays look better. And you know what the difference they is? They fill the space. They fill, they the, fill space. the space. I think this is one of the better Transformer Detolf displays I've seen. But I also think it sure. has a lot of dimension, right? So we have some risers. We have different sized figures. We've split some shelves. We've yep. opened some right. shelves. Correct. Like there's some variety. And they're not yeah. crowded. It, not yeah. all of them. They're crowded. filling up the space. He figured it out too. Like, all right, I gotta fill up each one of these cubes to maximize. Yeah, but the but he's still got some work to do on some of them. Like the one with Prime on it's got work to do. The one with Ultra yeah, Magnus has right. got work to do. Like, but you can right. tell that he gets it. Yeah. And you know what works better is the just white lights. He didn't go purple and red. Yeah. Like, he lit, no, he lit them up right. You know why he doesn't have any small figures on top of anything? Why? You see in the the first image, the bottom left corner, there's a cat scratcher there. <laughs> That's why there's only big bots up there, and he has room well, for the Well, I'll cat. tell you, anyway, I'll tell I, you that like if if um, does Omega Supreme fit in a um no damn. A sideways? He has to go sideways, kind of how he has the excuse me coming through. <laughs> yeah, it'd be better to have all those big bots at the bottom and lift those detolfs up off the floor. No. Yeah, he would need. Yeah, I agree. Or put bestas on the top and put them in there. Like, oh. but I do agree, just, it would look better on the bottom. Run the lights across the top. I don't. Uh, I don't no, I disagree with both of you. The figures on the top aren't like yeah he needs to have them in something a little bit well though i like the lighting i i like the lighting i i like and i I like the breakup of the details like he he understands he gets it yep um all right let's do another one this is josh v oh yeah look robert is no look look i all i can say is this looks good and i've been here and like I get this. I think this is smart. I think it's clean. I think that you need to work out some space in order to see some of these characters a bit better. But overall, I'm okay with this. I think his shelves are too thick. Well, it's tough, right? Right, because like, look. <laughs> You're right, Robert. It's not a topper sideways. No, yeah. that's funny. I mean, no, I know what he thick. means. Like the shelves are thick, but like I don't think that's a deal breaker. But that's funny. Kind of like the reverse detolf, where your figures are taking up too much height, so like the lights uh, aren't even shining on their faces because they're too tall. On some of them, like the Overlord, it looks like that's a rough one to take a look at. But like I feel like the the Megatron, like the Decep one, like I, I don't know. I feel like like oh, I see the Blaster one, dude. Oh, look at that whole shelf. The Grimlock's the same way. Look at Inferno in the back next to Blaster. You can't even see that, dude. So I can tell you, this dude's issue is space, and he's trying yeah. to make the space that he has work. But That's like, I, I would advise him, like, dude, just let go of three sweeps. Start making decisions like that. You don't need three sweeps. Actually, he has four sweeps. Get rid of those three right. sweeps. We don't need them all displayed. Correct, and break that shelf up. But he gets it, but he's trying to make the most of a situation. And mm-hmm. I get it. Good but effort. I think Good both effort. both of these last two are like they clearly care. They've clearly put thought right. and effort yeah. and energy. I mean, and, and it's taken you ten years to kind of get this six. Oh my and god! It, you know, it depends too on like. But you've been thinking about it from the jump. Like that's the what we. I remember all of us like really early on started talking. Like, look, yeah. nobody thinks about nobody thinks about the 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 curating the space, and we were on that like early right. on. Right. And it takes, as you know, and I know, Robert quite hasn't quite figured it out it's a lot of trial and error but your space matters you know what i mean like i couldn't do what other people do bobby couldn't do you know what i mean just depending on the space that you have you have to kind of fit it to that space right i like his collection but one thing this is showing me, and again, it's coming back to dust. If you're going to light your collection, especially with bright lights, you got to dust them because it just highlights the dust. True. It really does. It is true. Let's wrap this up for this for this episode. This is part one of probably five or six. It's a lot, and we <laughs> did not make any headway, rather. Duster. Sideways Billy Topper. Topper. Catfish Billy. What's that place where I just went to fast food today? Oh, Culver's. 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 (laughs) On the Culver's menu.